Impossible! This AFW is supposed to be indestructible! <laughs> Take that! Oh no! I must retrieve the new model! I. I. Yeah! Oh! Scumbag. We did it! There's our boat. There's our boat! The supply ship! Help us here! Everybody onto the ship and on the double! Tutorial Kohari! Wait! Looks like fresh troops, way. Holy jeez! Dang, this sucks. Looks like they got us surrounded. You guys go first. I'll hold them off. Captain. We don't have time to argue. That's an order. Don't try to be dramatic. Just get on a dang boat, Masami. Get on board quick. That's right, Masami. Tutorioko. If you don't hurry, you won't make it. Oh, Ryoko, I'm gonna be so sad if you're not here. Don't worry, I won't die. As long as I got friends and a place where I belong. Wait. Get going! It's too bad I won't have, get a chance to kill Strife and myself. I'm gonna have to leave that up to you guys. The enemy four-leg AFW will soon be in range. Can't wait any longer than that. Okay, go! Dad. Hey, Gramps, are you serious? We can't let everybody stay here and fight to the death. These youngsters say they're gonna come back alive. Can you believe these guys? Dave, hey. got the proof. There's still what we can do under these circumstances. Masami, Ryoko, can't handle you dying. You've got to make it back alive. That's it, let's shove off. What the heck? I ain't fighting no freaking 50 Russian mobile suits with freaking two. They're gone. You're really curious. If you ask for help, I might not be able to. Have I ever asked for help? No, never. Now that you mention it. See? Ryoko, you're laughing. Even I laugh sometimes. Hey, wait. Did you know? Did you now? You'll, did you know you'll die if you get hit by real bullets? Only newbies get hit by bullets. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, actually, that's that's the last mission. I remember now. Sergei's the last boss, and he ain't much of a boss. The door was harder than that thing. That was a rough mission, though. One person died. Gang raped. Hi. What's the matter, June? Please, I don't want to. What? I I don't want to. I don't want to run away like this. Not like this. June. Grandpa, stop the ship. I'm gonna fight again. Please. Grandpa, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Grandpa? I said, turn it around. The ship, turn it around. Shut up, kid. Stop whining. If you're so set on going back, swim. I can't believe this. Why are you all so cold-hearted? Don't you care about those two? Of course we care. If whining will help, I'll do it all day long. Ah, dang, son of a... John, Tool, just why do you think Wei and Ryoko stay behind? To allow us to escape safely? I believe that's not right. But why? Those two... They stayed behind to start their own personal war. Hey, kid. You're worried those two will just up and die? Don't worry. Even a direct hit by an APC show wouldn't kill those two. They're indestructible. That's right, June. Wait and Ryoko are going to be alright. Mark my words. Yeah, I guess you're right. Those two are going to be okay. Yeah, maybe I should have cut the video. Oh well. We weren't even certain if Weisinger or Ryoko ever were dead or alive.
Kirino and the members of Karma continue to fight for the liberation of North Japan. It would seem that my grimy comrades are somehow doing their own part as well. I should also mention that Emilio, announcing that he had achieved his objective, happily returned to his homeland. Since Sergei was defeated, Shringen lost his escape route, and his whereabouts are currently unknown. Actually, it's Kinasato's notes that we've been reading this whole time. So. Having committed such a blunder, it would not be surprising if he was no longer alive. It's the dark nature of politics. He subsequently received some disconcerting information that the detention camp for Japan, Japanese in the frozen Siberian wasteland was attacked and liberated by a mysterious armed unit. It was also said that Weisinger and Ryoko were spotted there. Hey, 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 hey. It's hard to believe, but they could be. Waging their own personal war against Russia. Jeez. You're insane. So yeah, that's Ring of Red, everybody, and that is an amazing, amazing game that got almost no attention, but everyone who's played it absolutely falls in love with it. And I highly recommend playing it, you know, trying out different combinations for uh, troop units and everything. This is probably the best playthrough I ever did of it. I mean, only Kinasato there died once, and that was it. So, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I love the artwork, the mech designs are very very well done uh, there's Gal from Street Fighter I mean uh, John and uh, it's just really cool game I, I love this game so much and it's very fun and it's got a good story to it it's an alternate history stuff that I love to death and the combat really doesn't get old uh, it, I mean I've played through this game probably two what is it, three times now I'm still not tired of it. I want to start all over and do it all over again. Try different uh, infantry combinations with the suits and try different ways of fighting the battles. But I mean, you can see I barely use skills through the game. Almost made it more challenging for myself. But you can definitely tell that this is one of those Japanese... One thing I've noticed in Japanese culture, I've started to pick up on this, there's still these ties to, to Germany from World War II that they still have. And now it's not to say that they're still all about the Empire and Nazis and, all, and the Axis powers, but, but they have this sort of friendship that they have with, uh... Oh, it's Nick Fury. Uh, oh, he's got a peg leg. Holy crap, I didn't know that. It's been a while since I've seen this ending. But they still have these, you know... It's kind of like a friendship bond that they have with with Germany, and it, it's almost like that with with America. It's we have such respect for both Germany and Japan because of how they fought us in the war, and it was just a knockdown, dragout fight. But we do hold respect for those two nations so much that they are now great allies of ours. But uh, that's why there's all this German officer uniform stuff in this game, and the mechs are all mostly German made and just cool stuff so again uh, let's see what this game's going to do okay let's go back to the title screen but uh, thanks for watching I'm going to try and have something else going here before long but you know I'm working still on Gran Turismo and uh, Marvel Heroes I got to finish up those two first so I'm going to focus on those and then I'll have another good game to roll out here before long but thanks everybody for watching so much and I'll catch you on the next one later